Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa kafa wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidi al-Rusul wa khatim al-Anbiya'i Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arham ar-Rahimin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala alihi Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala alihi Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Alhamdulillah, we continue on with the series of Qur'an connection. Inshallah tonight you will find our Imam reciting Surah Al-Zumar. This is the 39th chapter of the Qur'an. And the meaning of this chapter, groups. The groups. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will divide the people upon the day of judgment into groups. This surah has much details about the unfolding events that will take place on the day of judgment. If you are able to take some time out as the weekend is right ahead of you, please do so in trying to read the translation of this surah. The verse which I wanted to focus on today, it is the 38th verse of Surah Al-Zumar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions within this verse. It's a lengthy verse, so bear with me for a moment. وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ قُلْ أَفَرَأَيْتُمْ مَا تَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ إِنْ أَرَادَنِيَ اللَّهُ بِذُرٍ هل هن كاشفات ضره أو أرادني برحمة هل هن ممسكات رحمتي قل حسبي الله عليه يتوكل المتوكلون. The near translation of this verse: If you ask them as to who created the heavens and the earth, they will certainly say Allah. So then say, tell me. About those whom you invoke other than Allah. If you know that it is Allah who's created the heavens and the earth, then why do you call upon others? Why do you supplicate before others? Why do you invoke upon others? And the verse continues on to mention this is an important point to keep in mind, and it's a point which really strikes our faith. This point it's it's taken home. The verse mentions. Tell me, if in aradani Allah, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends to cause some harm to me, are they able to remove the harm caused by him? All people or all others that you associate with Allah or those you invoke besides Allah, if Allah intends to do harm to me, do you think that they will be able to remove that harm from my way? Or if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends to bless me with mercy, are they able to hold back His mercy from me? This is something to think about, really. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to mention within the surah, simply say, قُلْ say, حَسْبِي Allah. Allah is sufficient for me. In Him trust those who trust. There is much to mention about this verse. There is so much to speak about this verse. And how this verse really goes home with us. Allow me to mention a narration of Rasulullah sallallahu which he mentioned to Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma mentions, Kuntu khalfa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yawman. Once I was riding upon a ride with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Prophet of Allah mentioned, Ya ghulam, O boy, inni u'allimuka kalimatin. I will teach you some words. Be mindful of the rights of Allah and Allah will protect you. Be mindful of Allah and Allah will protect you. Be mindful of Allah and you will find Allah in front of you. When you ask, ask Allah alone. When you seek for help, seek the assistance of Allah. وَاعْلَمْ and know this أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْفَعُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَنْفَعُوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ لَكَ 
understand this and know this, that if the people and the nations come together to bring you benefit of any sort, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not written that benefit for you, it will not reach you. It will not come your way. وَإِنِ اجْتَمَعُوا عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَذُرُّوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَذُرُّوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ And if the people come together, the nations come together, and they try to bring some harm to you, towards you of any sort, of any kind, and Allah has not prescribed that for you, subhanAllah, then it won't come your way. It will not come your way. رُفِعَتِ الْأَقْلَامِ وَجَفَّتِ الصُّحُفِ The pens have been lifted and the pages have dried. And the narration of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, اِحْفَذِ اللَّهَ تَجِدْهُ أَمَامَكَ Be mindful of Allah and you will find Allah to be in front of you. تَعَرَّفْ إِلَى اللَّهِ فِي الرَّخَائِ Be mindful of Allah, recognize Him, acknowledge Him in times of ease and prosperity. يَعْرِفُكَ فِي الشِدَّةِ And He will remember you in times of adversity. وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ مَا أَخْطَأَكْ لَمْ يَكُنْ لِيُصِيبَكْ And know this, whatever missed you, whatever just passed you, was never meant to reach you. وَمَا أَصَابَكْ لَمْ يَكُنْ لِيُخْطِئَكْ And whatever befell you, whatever came your way, was never meant to miss you. It was predetermined, predestined. It was the decree of Allah to happen, and it would happen accordingly. وَعْلَمْ And know this, أَنَّ النَّصْرَ مَعَ الصَّبْرِ Victory comes with patience. وَأَنَّ الْفَرَجَ مَعَ الْكَرْبِ and relief with affliction. يسرى, and hardship with ease. I just gave you the basic translation of the ayah of the Quran, 38th verse of Surah Al-Zumar, and a translation of one of the ahadith of Muhammad Sallallahu We can speak for at least an hour on these you know, two subjects. SubhanAllah. The ayah and the narration of Muhammad Sallallahu Do your best and understand and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the right understanding of his deen so that we can better understand and appreciate the gift that we're gifted with. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the right understanding of his deen. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antasamina alim. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika.